The rats are leaving the sinking ship. Tell us where the treasure is and we'll let you go. Silence! Looks like we'll have to wring it out of him. Rio, get changed. Okay, hello everyone, this is Guitars and Gameplay, and after a very long time I managed to get past uh, the walrus boss run thing. And because of various reasons, <laughs> but mostly because I got really aggravated with the game, I have not played this in a while, um, up to today's date of recording. So, I but I did but but I did manage to get past everything that I did in the past two episodes off camera and made it here with ten lives. Now I have nine, but yeah, <laughs> it's it's a really good thing that I have um ten or nine lives now because uh, I actually tried recording this part about two or three times earlier and I didn't have that many lives so I kind of just you know died <laughs> but uh, as you saw in that cutscene this is Embryo transformed into the big green Hulk type monster guy um, in Crash Bandicoot 1 was pretty much the original time that he did that So, I mean, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of cool that they brought that feature back where, uh, they, like, they actually have Embryo in the game. Because I think there's only three games. That's this one, uh, the original Crash Bandicoot, and, uh, Crash Bash that Embryo is actually in. And it's, I don't know why, because he's, like, such a cool character. And, you know, he's like a mad scientist, kind of, like, Cortex, but not really. He's he's kind of like, I don't know, he, he adds, like, another villainous aspect, I guess you could say. Even though there's so many of them already, I mean, I, we've seen a lot of them, a lot of the bosses in, uh the game so far, especially in the beginning with Engine and uh, Crunch and uh, Ripper Roo and Tiny and Dingo Dial and all those different guys. But uh, anyway, it kind of looks like uh, we are almost completed with this boss battle. I really hope I don't die <laughs> for, you know, obvious reasons. Alright, here we go. Looks like we're good. Wait, do we have to defeat Embryo or something? Okay, I guess he's just gonna launch us away while we auto save. This is just everything I've been waiting for in this moment right here. Auto save to the Psychotron. To the Psychotron. Okay. So from this point forward, <laughs> I do not have to go back to the other place. It's just, it's it's just it's just, it's just so good. It's it's just so good. It, the the it's like engines battleship, I guess it is. That's what I'm gonna call it anyway. It reminds me of a uh, Clanker's Cavern from uh, Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> the Clanker's Cavern is almost as annoying as this. Is this even the way we went? We were going to the Psychotron. So I guess that's in here. Not in uh, that way. Or maybe it is. Maybe we have to go through there again. Let's just see what happens. 
Maybe these things have to look at us. Uh, no. I don't even remember where Cortex went. I guess he went up here because we had to go through this cave system to get to the secret entrance Both. Okay. Let's, let's, yeah, there we go. Um, because this is the way to the secret entrance, maybe we just have to go through here again. And go all the way back up there, so, but, uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna try. <laughs> I think. But I, I don't know why we would have to go through here. Is this the way he went? I don't know, it seems like this way was a really long area to go through. Let's just check the other... Well, I guess we checked the other places before. I don't know, let's check them again, just to be sure. Okay, the, that's a gem space, that's a gem space. That looks like a gem. Maybe we can get on this little thingy. Yeah, okay. I'm glad I didn't go through that big cave system. Alright, I guess Psychotron is in here. I have no idea, but hopefully. Oh, yeah, yeah, here we are. Ruined! Thanks to Perky here. Must be repaired, and only one person can help. My niece, Nina Cortex. Isn't she delightful? Obviously, I've made a few modifications here and there. <laughs> Quickly, to my private dirigible! Set a course for Madame Amberley's Academy of Evil! Come along! Okay, so... Apparently, Coco can kill us. Wasn't expecting that, but, um... And I'm not exactly sure where we are loading to right now. That wasn't weird at all. Oh, uh, oh, 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 okay. Let's go all the way back here since that was my last, uh, loaded thing. Can I, can I, can I, I guess not. Since that was my last, um, loaded save, or last auto save, it kind of, like, um, just ported me there instead of back to the place I was supposed to be. Which was kind of dumb, but anyway, let's go back. Oh, oh, okay. Let's activate this save so that I don't have to go all the way back there if I, for some reason, die. I don't know. The floor kills me or something. <laughs> okay. Apparently, we don't have to sit through that. Um cutscene again. I guess we're supposed to go this way. Going to, um, Cortex's private dirigible. Wherever that is. I guess it's over here. Since there's a checkpoint. Let's take a look around. No, this goes up there, I believe. Oh, there it is. But, oh, well, we can't get to it from here. Let's try the other way. Nope. I don't know, let's just try this uh, platform right here. And see where it takes us. Yeah, wrong direction. I need to go that way. Back there. Alright, good. <laughs> I was afraid that wasn't going to activate. 
I was gonna be stuck and have to go all the way back down. Ah, oh, take the long ride. The very long ride back. Let's jump off. And whoa, what even was that? I guess I didn't want us going that way. Hmm, okay. Let's go back through here and to. Come on. There we go. Um, back out the other door. I guess that's where we're supposed. You're not gonna open? What's going on here? There we go. Okay. These do I wish these doors would open <laughs> a little bit faster. Alright, yeah, this is the way we're supposed to. Uh, okay. Yeah. This way. And we've got these platforms here that weren't here before, I don't think. Let's just hope we don't die while we're on them. And make the transfer. Ah, mm, okay, that was <laughs> that was actually just kind of dumb of me to do. Let's turn around and try this again. Maybe I can actually make. Nope, I can't do both of them at the same time. Wow, I was actually surprised I made that jump. Um, where am I going? What's happening here? Oh, okay. Just <laughs> I just needed to walk one step forward. I love my airship. It's the only way to fly. Hey! So this is how the rich and the ugly fly. Oh, still it is. May I have another bag of those spicy peanuts? <laughs> I will. Boring. I shall crush you like a puny one you are. You are nothing to me, for I am the great and all-powerful Neo Cortex. You infant vermin, how dare you walk manhandle and manipulate me? Rest assured, I will take my terrible vengeance upon... Yeah, yeah, whatever. Skip to the good bit. <laughs> okay, so, um... Uh, the, actually, I guess the birds were just, uh, oh, 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 what's, what's, what's happening here? Okay. <laughs> First time we get to play as Cortex, and I die. It says something about reloading by breaking the ammo crates. I, oh, wow, nice. Why do, why? This is just pointless. At least I get to skip the next, uh, cutscene. I forget how I'm supposed to do a melee attack with Quartet X, though. <laughs> Almost died there. Let's just skip that boring part and try to maybe jump a little bit more efficiently. Oh, okay. And not die in the process. There we go. Is that, he's got a giant minigun on the front of his uh, airship there. Oh. Not yet. Uh, there we go. Okay, tap X. Or a tap X, type square to rapid fire. Reload by breaking the ammo crates. Okay. Alright, nice. Cool, okay, so we, oh, this is, I thought there was supposed to be another cutscene, but there is not. We are now at Madam, whatever her name was, <laughs> Academy of Evil. Now, there are a lot of different things you can do here. Um, they include what I'm doing right now, which is uh, rolling these uh, soccer balls into the nitro crates over there and um, trying to that exclamation point there we go 
and then that will activate a few of these and see we get a silver gem by doing that there's another gem over there you probably saw this gem over here um, there's a pink gem over there and another gem that way there's just so many different gems that you can get in this area and I think what we're gonna do is just try to get um, maybe two of these or three and then call it a day here um, yeah you gotta be careful about those soccer balls sometimes because they can really uh oh I remember this <laughs> I remember doing this and spending a lot of hours well probably not hours but maybe just one hour <laughs> trying to get this right because this is a pretty if I can even get onto the soccer ball here this is a pretty tough one to get because you actually have to get it over the there's that ledge maybe I forget I even forget how I did it before but I think you can kind of roll it up here maybe no okay don't go away on me okay just just leave then let's just try this one more time because I remember I didn't even get this gem until I went back onto my save file and actually looked up how to get it no that's not cheating that's called help <laughs> I don't know it, it, that's, this gem just really frustrated me though so yeah we're not gonna go for that one right now uh, let's go up here and try to see what we can do with this okay there's why is that randomly there Okay, let's try to see if we can get the camera angle right. And just... No. Oh, okay. There we go. Alright, we should be able to get this gem by just... Doing... Okay. Wrong way, soccer ball. we can just knock it into these TNTs on the bottom. Yeah. Alright, I don't know why I didn't make the gem sound. I don't know, something weird. Oh, okay, that just didn't do anything. Interesting. Maybe, uh...